Hi, everybody. It's live with Kate and Kurt. We are down here at Three Graces Vintage. Yes. Um, what are we wearing? That's a good question. Um, do you know what you're wearing? What year? What year is this? Probably the 60s. This is the 60s? And I think I'm rocking it out pretty much. Totally yeah, so we're both 60s. In the so. 60s with my nice. <laughs> don't know what year that is. We don't know. But it's a Mallory. It's nice and it's it, it actually fits Kurt's head because it's so large. My head is large. Um, so we're here and uh, this is the first time I've ever been in here. Same yeah, for it's you. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. Um, a lot of local artists have come together to showcase their work from pictures to um, you know, sculpting. Everything that's sculpting, woodwork. Um, and it's, Quilts. it's wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful. It really is. And never mind the clothes. So make sure you come down here. It's on Main Street. Um, you want to talk about the news a little bit? Sure. Okay, great. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is an afternoon at Foxwoods. Kurt, I don't suggest you go there. Um, this is going to be the Tallinn County Relay for Life Teen Kids Express Cares. This is going to be Saturday, January 2nd from 9.30 to 6.30. So the bus is going to leave at 9.30, come back at 6.30. Uh, you're going to meet at the Willington Commuter Parking Lot, Route 32. The cost is $30 per ticket. Call Nancy at 860-830-7887. That includes bus fare, $10 for food or full buffet. I would take the full buffet. Mm -hmm. And uh, keto cash. It's a great cause. It is a great cause. Cool. I was um, just kidding. I mean, if you want to go, I go. I, I just, okay. I know you. You're funny. <laughs> Kate's, Kate's having trouble containing herself because she likes my mustache. We're doing a vintage show here, I so I want vintage. I can that handlebar To thing. go with this 70s mustache, to go with my 60s shirt and my 1980s hat. So, on Tuesday, May 8th at 7 p.m., the Stafford Historical Society is presenting a lecture by military modeler David Walsh. Walsh will display and discuss the intricate and historically accurate dioramas of World War II battle scenes that he has constructed in a 1 to 72 scale. The lecture is being held at the Stafford Community Center, 3 Buckley Highway in Stafford Springs. A brief business meeting will precede the talk. The event is free and the public is invited to attend. Now, you know, we're here, so why don't we go take a look around, see uh, see what this place is. Yeah, about. let's do that. Let's okay. take a little break. Cool. So, everybody, we're down here at Three Graces Vintage, and I am with uh, Lisa Zalanka. Uh, over here, what I've got going on is I've got... Um, my whole concept was to make vintage with art. Um, I feel that vintage clothes are works of art and that they're, they're well made and I also wanted to support the artists in the area. Um, so over here I have jewelry, small fine crafts, um, arts and crafts, and the vintage clothes. The clothes range from the 19, late 40s through the early 90s. Um, I have a lot of hats, the, the kitchen stuff, trying to mix in a lot of different things so that people can, it'll fit everybody's taste, not just mine. Okay, so Lisa, tell us a little bit more about the jewelry. Okay, I have three jewelers right now, well, three and a half. One of them is a knitter, uh, and she makes jewelry out of um, vintage textiles and stuff. But the jewelers are um, Audrey Watkinson. How can she uh, has boxes and boxes and is, feels totally, she doesn't think she's any good and she's got some beautiful jewelry. Um, and Melissa Rakowski, Shippy, uh, she is probably your age, right? Yes, yep, we're together. To, yes, yep. very talented girl. She's taken trips, trips to Japan mm -hmm. and Georgia, south, well, in the south, and she teaches all over and she's got a few books on oh. her making jewelry. Another girl from uh, Hebron, Connecticut, and she does a, um, silver, what's called silver clay and melts her own glass to make the beads. So we have three different styles. I'm hoping to get other jewelers in with different styles and hoping to get some men's jewelry. It was important for me to focus on having guy stuff. So I got the ties and some shirts and jeans and stuff, but the old ties are fun. I mean, it's got a little woman in a bathing suit. It must have been so risque. Here, I'll take it out. Is this is this uh, going to be rated okay for Live with Kate and Kurt? Yep. Isn't she that awesome? Is adorable. Is. Isn't that awesome? I brought in like accessories. Yeah. The scarves, the scarves are new, but she does all of her own dyeing and stuff. And the purses and the gloves, you know, those are newer. Those are also a girl that's local. 
and I mixed in a little things that I didn't think were gallery, but definitely art and fine crafts. Over in the gallery side, because I feel that, you know, Stafford needs art. <laughs> yeah. And we need to it, let the artists have a place to show themselves off. So I'll be changing out the show every four to six weeks and putting up a new show. And anybody is welcome to show. There's no cost. You can buy or show. I mean, you can sell or show. You can do anything you want. It's just giving artists a place to say, hey, look at me. I work hard. Yeah. I love my art. Um, this is what I can do. This is what I can do for somebody else. Now tell us the hours. Um, Wednesday and Thursday I am open from uh, 10 to 4 on Friday 10 to 5, Saturday 11 to 5, and Sunday 11 to 3. Okay. And yeah. is there a phone number? Just in case. Yes. 597-1427 with an 860. <laughs> okay, great. Well, Kurt and I, we're going to sit down and uh, film the rest of the show from here. Lisa, thank you very much. Yep. Wow. There's a lot of cool stuff here. There is. Obviously. But come on down, check this out. Uh, it's right on Main Street. The Staffordville School has been awarded the 2011-2012 Connecticut Exemplary Reading Program Award by the International Reading Association. The award was given on Sunday, April 29th in Chicago. The International Reading Association chose Staffordville because of the school's overall liter literacy <laughs> success, including providing a tight net of intervention. The goal of the program is to have students reading independently by the end of the first grade. Staffordville was also recognized in November by the Connecticut Association of Schools for their exemplary efforts to promote early childhood literacy. Both awards recognize the outstanding reading and language art programs at Staffordville that focus on improving and supporting literacy to emerging readers to acquire and maintain reading strategies that will enable them they will enable them to be successful, lifelong learners. For more information, you can call Sandy Bidwell, reading teacher, at 684-3298. That's great. Um, weather's not too great today. It's a little overcast. I thought it was going to be warm out. You know um, what? Um, let's find out more what's going on. Let's send it up to Taco. And he cuts me off again. I'm sorry. Uh, Taco Champagne here uh, with the weather. Uh, I'm uh, live with Kate and Kurt show. Uh, as you can see outside today, the cloudiness, it hasn't been a nice day. Uh, I left the house, it was 54 degrees. Uh, what you see today was what you're going to see tomorrow. Uh, mostly cloudy, there may be a spot of uh, sun, uh, but that's about it. Uh, Thursday night, we are going to, there's about an 80 to 90 percent chance of some rain coming in with some thunder involved. Uh, but uh, by Friday morning, I'm saying by 8 o'clock, it'll all be gone. It'll clear, uh, temperature's going to get up into the mid-70s, and it's going to be a, a warm, humid day for the John Julian Memorial Golf Tournament out at Cedar Knob, which starts at 10. So they should be good. They should have a good day for playing golf. Um, the races will be good on for Friday night. And uh, the weekend looks good, not as warm as at first thought. Uh, temperatures may get into the low 70s. Uh, it'll be 50-50 clouds and sun. Uh, maybe a little breeze, but not much, 10 miles an hour breeze. But the weekend looks good, uh, Monday included. Uh, it looks like Tuesday, long range, looks like Tuesday uh, some showers coming in, but we gotta keep an eye on it because the way the weather has been changing. Uh, one other thing, I don't normally do the weather for other parts of the country, but the uh, Kentucky Derby is on Saturday and uh, out in Louisville, and uh, it looks like we're going to see some rain early, but the track may be, have a little moisture, but for the Derby, I believe it'll be good, uh, and good day for the Derby, and uh, good luck on your bets, and uh, have a good weekend and uh, see you next week. But the weather for Friday is going to be great, and I'm playing in that golf tournament. Yeah, I'm, that's still a TBA for me. TBD. TBD. 
to be announced like we yeah. care. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. no. <laughs> exactly. Um, also, I got the opportunity to go to the races this weekend. Okay. Uh, a lot of local drivers, very successful. Kyle Casagrande won um, the late model feature. Not the late model, the deer stocks. Sure. And um, we had at least one person from Stafford come in the top ten in each of the six divisions. So it was a pretty good weekend. Very good weekend. Good I heard, yep. yep. Sizzler's always a, always a good hoop. Good and don't forget this Friday night, we'll start regular Friday night racing at Stafford Speedway. Seventeen fifty for adults. Kids 6 to 14 or $5. And if they wear a youth sports jersey of any kind, then they get in for free, as long as they're accompanied by an adult. So check that out on Friday night. Well, that's great. Okay, so that was a great show. It was. And until then, we will see you guys next week. Yeah. And that's it. All right. Okay. All right. We'll see, see ya. Here, what's that look for? I hate that mustache, handlebar, whatever. I can't stand it. I have an ass chin. <laughs> And this kind of brings it out, you know, so I always try to cover that, but I think it adds character. I think you're just an ass, but... <laughs>